So the video is a collection of various different um, evidence against the Jack claim. What's going on, folks? JJ here. I've got another video for you. Yes, yes, yes. The, like the title says, Mikey Scar responds to Sammy the Bull for another upteenth time. <laughs> I did get permission from uh, Mikey and our uh, Mikey Scars to use portions of the video I'm about to play you in his response. The reason why I, I say this is because. This video is only on his Patreon's channel. So if you want to see the full length video, go over to Mikey Scar's uh, Patreon channel or go to his channel and you can find the link there to join Patreon. Uh, it doesn't, he does more videos than just Sammy the Bull. He does quite a few of Sammy, but it does quite a few of other things too. So here anyway. we go. Sammy the Bull says that Mikey Scar's isn't capable or wasn't good enough to do a piece of work. Now we're not bragging that doing a piece of work is the greatest thing since sliced bread. It's not, it's taking another life or being involved in taking another life. But in the context of the mafia world, it is very important. Now people have been made without doing pieces of work. Several people have, because they're money makers, the racketeers. Some get in, even though they've busted a few legs, broke a few arms, busted a few skulls. Some of them still got made. Given the fact that Mikey Scar's heritage, his lineage, goes back to the founding days of the Gambino family, before it was named the Gambino family. Sammy's doesn't. So that's another way. But what we're talking about is Sammy saying that Mikey Stars, Mikey Scars has never done a piece of work. Here's what he said. I was super fucking mad that he put me in this position. He left with the body with this guy, drove the car. Louis followed him. There was no Michael the Bat, uh, no Mikey Scars to be seen anywhere around. Um, he said in the trial, which you said, he said in the trial that he was on 16th Avenue. The car was, uh, with the body was on 17th Avenue. Now, it sounds like one block, it is, but it's a long uh, industrial area. It's a half a mile long. Michael, Mikey Scars, was not around anywhere to be seen. Now, Louis would definitely told me if he was on the head. He would have never brought somebody without telling him. That's number one. Number two, he was a tough guy and a killer, Louis. He would have never used Mikey Scars. Mikey Scars never, ever did a piece of work. In your testimony to me, you said that he said that on a witness stand. I don't give a shit where he said it. He was lying on the under oath then because he wasn't involved in this hit in no way, shape, or form. It's a guy who never even did a piece of work. You said you heard this from Mike Scars directly. The guy has never been, I have a trio to it. He never did a piece of work, never once. He almost did a piece of work with me, but the thing was off somebody or some other people did it. We didn't do it. He didn't do it, never did a piece of work. Now, I'm going to play the clip where Mikey Scars responds with using Sammy's own words about Mikey Scars and putting in work. Here we go. Never did a piece of work. We had told Mikey Scars, you're on the head. I told him. But don't go to your captain. He knows that I didn't testify against him. I could have put him away for life. He knows that didn't happen either. I could have put him away for life. I could have put him away for life. I could have put him away for life.
hey, you don't, maybe this is the reason. Maybe I lied because, understand? Because I knew Sammy was going to do a, a podcast 22 years later. And Sammy would catch me in a lie about that. So I lied about it so he could catch me in a lie 22 years later. And then it gets even better after that. Sammy accuses Mikey Scars of just going over to the house after he flipped and getting the Shylock books. Here's the proof of that particular episode. When I flipped, he ran to my family to get my Shylock book to get my brother-in-law Eddie with him. One late July night, Lee and I were sleeping in my upstairs bedroom when bullets ripped through my window. The bullets flew right over the bed and lodged into the closet where we had once kept the safe with the money. We had no idea why someone was shooting up the house, but I assumed it must have something to do with my father. There was no way I was going to call the cops and no one else in the neighborhood did either. The next morning, Lee and I were outside and I saw that my gray Acura was shot up too. The side panel had two bullet holes in it. I called my mother in Arizona and she called Uncle Eddie to check on us. Uncle Eddie already knew about it, but he hadn't come by to check on me. I'm not sure why. Big Louie Villario and Mikey Scars were two friends who were loyal to the family and they started coming by my house to make sure I was okay after they heard about it. So there you have it, folks. It's out there. You can believe what you want to believe, but the proof is in the pudding. I will say this. And I'm not going to say nothing negative or derogatory towards Sammy and his staff. His beef with Mikey Scars is their beef. I do find some of Sammy's stories really good, fascinating. Whether they're bullshit or the truth. Some of them you don't know really about. Some you can say, okay. And Mikey Scars has said that, hey, Sammy was right about this or Sammy was wrong about that. Uh, there's several times that people have accused Sammy of something. And as much as Mikey don't like him, he has come out and said, nope, that ain't what happened. I don't think that happened. And I will cover this in another video coming up soon regarding Sammy. That Mikey Scars even said, I just didn't think this happened. And if I can get permission for him, I will play that his response to that. And as well as my response. So anyway, there you go. There's that video. Uh, I hope everybody says blessed. Uh, if you're new to the channel, you've been here before, and you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, please take a moment of your time. Go right down below. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. So, hey, my health is taking a, a, quite a bit of a hit. So I try to put out videos when I feel like it. Uh, I wish I could get on a regular schedule. Hopefully. After another couple of doctor's visits, I can get on that regular schedule. So be willing on the lookout for it. I'll I'll keep everybody up going on. Let everybody know what's going on in the in the community tab of my of my channel. Also, if you want to support this channel, uh, you can one by hitting the thumbs up, like button, leaving a comment on this video. Another way, other ways you can do that. Uh, I got Venmo, PayPal, Cash App. You can buy me a cup of coffee uh, if you like to purchase stuff from Timu. I've got an affiliate link. You go hit that link, go buy what you want. Uh, when you, when you cash out, check out, whatever, pay for your stuff, they will give me a small commission. And that also helps with the channel. So after all that being said, everybody stay blessed. And remember when it comes to doing the right thing, making this world a better place, helping others out, try it. It really does work. And I'm out of here. Bye-bye.